today I'm going to be doing a casual outfit of the day. It's really nice outside. It's like 90 degrees out here in Austin, Texas. And I'm going to go to lunch with some friends and then just probably shop around and stuff downtown. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just show you my outfit. And then hopefully you guys enjoy this quick and simple video. So first for my makeup, it's really simple. Um, on my eyes, I'm actually wearing the color Sin from the Urban Decay Naked palette. It's just like a really pretty champagne color, but it almost has like a little bit of like a pinkish peachy color to it. And then I have the color Virgin just above that underneath my brow bone to highlight my eyebrows. And then I have my eyebrows filled in a little bit. I have on a little bit of blush and a tinted moisturizer. And then for my lips, I just have on Max Angel lipstick, which is a really pretty pink lipstick that's a frost. It's pretty neutral and it kind of goes with everything. And over that, I have a Smashbox lip gloss in the color Luster. Then on my nails, I still have on Flash Bulb Fuchsia, and I have this on my toes as well. Really pretty hot pink color with a shimmer throughout it. And then of course for my hair, it's just in a side braid, nothing special. As far as jewelry, I have on my heart necklace, and then I have on my Angel Wing necklace that I mentioned in my recent haul video. I have on my normal rings, but I also added this gold heart one from Forever 21 because I'm mixing gold and silver. And that's one thing I like to do. I actually like the way that gold and silver looks mixed. So I wanted to kind of incorporate a little bit more gold into my rings by adding this gold ring right here. And then for my bracelets, I have on um, my gold watch, a gold bracelet, and then these two are both from Forever 21. And I showed them again in my most recent haul video. Okay, so then my shorts are these distressed Levi jeans, and they're actually cut off into shorts. And right here, they have like some detailing on the pockets. They have a bunch of rips just all throughout them, and that's what they look like from the back. Now, I actually bought these from runawaydreams.com, and they were pretty expensive, but I wanted to buy them because I've really been interested in a pair of high waisted, like distressed. Levi shorts. I think they're so cute. They're so comfortable. I love the way they fit. I feel like they're really well made and I definitely feel like they were worth the money. Although I feel like I want to try and make my own and I want to show you guys a video on how to do that. So what I've been working on recently is trying to find jeans that I can make in similar cutoffs like these and that I can do a video on. So this is actually a pair that I've been working on and as you can see they have just like a really cute trim around the waist and then they're just the Levi jeans and I ripped them up and cut them off and I'm going to distress them a little bit more. And then what I also did was I just went to a local thrift store and I bought some Levi 501 jeans and I'll show you the three pairs that I found. First, I found this pair, which is like a really light wash denim, which I think are going to look so cute when I cut them into shorts. And then I also found just this high-waisted medium wash. These really don't have any distressing. Um, they have a little bit at the knee, but I think when I cut them off, you'll probably lose that. But these are really nice. They feel like really nice quality. And then this last pair is really soft. Again, they're like just a medium normal wash, but these are absolutely so incredibly soft. These are a little bit thinner than the ones I have on and they're just absolutely really comfortable. So I know that they will be really cute once I cut them off. So that is my outfit of the day for today. And I know it's very quick and simple, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video on the shorts, because I really love these shorts, but I definitely think that I can make them or make ones that look similar because these were expensive. And um, I do love them though, so I don't regret buying them. But I feel like if I could help you guys out by showing you how to make your own um, ones that look like these, then I would love to do that. So let me know if you'd be interested in that video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.